Hello everyone. In the video series on comparing quantities, in this video, we will get introduced to a new way of comparison that is ratio. We have been comparing things using various different ways. For example, we may compare saying that I have I have 10 chocolates more than her, which means if she, as we assume that she has X chocolates, then I have 10 more than her X plus 10. Or I have five, you know, uh, pebbles less than him. So that would be X minus five. So in this comparison, this relation, which is plus 10 or minus 10, it's an absolute value. So if even if x increases multifold, the relation will be always plus or minus here minus five here plus ten. So this is an absolute value. The difference between them is going to be an absolute value. But there are other types where we say I have two times the chocolates she has. So now if she has x, what I have is 2 times x, so 2x. Now if you see here, when she had 2, I had 4. When she had 3, I had 6. So the difference here is was 2, the difference here is 3. So the difference is changing because what we are talking about 2 times and we don't have an absolute value, but we have a ratio. And hence these kind of Comparisons can also be written in the format as my chocolates to her chocolates are going to be 2 is to 1. So if I have 2, she has 1, or if she has 1, I have 2. 2 is to 1, and this is called ratio. This is a relative comparison. This is not an absolute comparison. This is a relative comparison. We'll look at some salient features of ratio. Let's say my ratio of the chocolates with me and with Isha is 2 is to 1. And ratio of the distance I run to the distance Mihir runs also can be 2 is to 1. So which means two different set of quantities and two different set of things can have the same ratio. One more thing, let's say I had 3 kg of sweets and Samir has 300 grams of sweets. Now, what is the ratio between me and Samir? So, I'll say sweets, the ratio is 3 is to 300. Correct? No, it is not correct. Because this ratio indicates that Samir has more than me. I have 3, then Samir has 300. Samir has more than me. But if you see here, I have 3 kilograms and Samir has only 300 grams. So Samir has less. Then how can the ratio be 3 is to 300? It cannot be. So what is wrong here? The mistake what we have done here is, these two quantities are in different major main units. So here it is kilogram and here it is gram. And for a ratio, we cannot compare two quantities in different measurement units. They have to be in the same measurement unit. So to compare two quantities using ratio, they must be in the same unit of measurement. Unit of measurement. 
and because we compare this for example i had 3 feet to 2 feet if i am comparing these two quantities so they are, it is written as 3 feet upon 2 feet the ratio is also expressed in the format as this so which means the feet and feet get cancelled and the ratio remains 3 is to 2 so if you see the ratio is actually a unitless quantity there is no measurement unit for the ratio it's a unitless quantity and that's again another reason why the two quantities to be compared should be in the same unit of measurement take another example let's say i have 2 kilogram of sweet and of uh, Mihir has 2 kilogram of sweet. So the ratio of sweets with me to Mihir is 3 is to 2. So this is me to Mihir. So what is the ratio of sweets with Mihir to me? And now the ratio is 2 is to 3. So if we observe these two are not same. Here it is 3 is to 2, here it is 2 is to 3. So ratio of one quantity to other may not be same as ratio of the second quantity to the first. Just few points back I mentioned that ratio 3 is to 2 is also represented as 3 upon 2 and that is the fraction format of ratio. But interestingly what we know as fraction is part upon whole. Correct. Fraction is actually part upon whole. Does that mean that this is my part and this is my whole? No. In case of ratio it is not true. In case of ratio, this fraction format actually is part upon part. So it is part 1 upon part 2. If you see, 3 is my part and 2 is Mihir's part. So it is part 1 upon part 2. So then how do we write it 3 as to 2? If this is a part, then what is the whole? Whole is my part plus Mihir's part, which is 5. So actually, fraction of my part is 3 upon 5. I have 3 upon 5 because 3 is my, 2 is Mihir's, total is 5. And out of those 5, 3 is mine. So 3 upon 5 is my part. And whereas Mihir's part is 2 upon 5. 2 out of the total 5. And when we have, we do 3 upon 5 divided by 2 upon 5. This 5, 5 get cancelled and remains 3 upon 2. So, when the ratio is represented in fraction form, it is actually part upon part, not part upon whole. We will understand this better when we solve a few sums related to ratio. So if I have let's say 500 grams okay, of sugar and my friend has 300 grams of sugar. What is the ratio? Ratio of me to my friend is going to be 500 to 300. But we don't write ratio in this form. We actually reduce it to the lowest form. And if I reduce it to the lowest form, it, I get 5 is to 3. So I write ratio as 5 is to 3 and not a 500 is to 300. So generally when we write ratio, it is in the lowest 
form. And we can also find equivalent ratio because ratio is represented in the fractional format and we know fractions, we can have equivalent fractions. We also have lowest form as we have it in fraction. So, ratio also has equivalent ratio. We have learned these features of ratio and we are going to use each one of them when we are going to deal with ratio. I am sure you have liked the video. Hit the like button and leave your views in the comment section below. Do watch our other videos on this topic. Subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload new videos. You may also download the QTube app at the link provided in the video description. Till we meet again, goodbye.